Good evening everyone and this is the completed Dragon uh, M142 High Mars. This is a lovely little kit. Now the High Mars of course is the most famous weapon uh, of the current times. Um, now still in the lead just um, with the Attackums and the Jassum but uh, this is the High Mars of the media fame. So the High Mars as I've covered before is a armoured, lightly armoured truck which launches rockets. Um, it's got computers on board, it's got radios and it goes to a location, fires its rounds and then legs it. The Dragon kit is absolutely lovely, it's got nice uh, detail underneath, it's got nice detail on the top. I've done mine in the transport configuration um, but you can do it with the launcher up and this is a um, spare uh, round for want of a better word from butler's printed models uh, these are the six tube ones which would be your gimlars or guided multiple launch rocket system or mlrs um, rounds for the unguided ones as cluster munitions and high explosive um, they use gps full of guided ones uh, small diameter bombs as well they come out the six one now the uh, tacums is a single launch tube but to confuse the enemy they often have the front of the six but it's actually just a single round the attackums is another one that's made by butlers so you can have ammunition now the great thing about the high mars and the mlrs is that basically um the uh, pods are dropped on the ground uh, the truck comes up and it picks them up and loads them whereas a lot of the russian systems have to have individual uh, missile reloads which takes some time so the dragon kit is a nice kit uh, so the attackums mgm 140 from 1991 and its rivals are the smirch the tornado s which uses gloznas which is like the russian G gps and most importantly the iskander m uh, these are the agm 158 jasm or larison the long range uh, anti-ship missiles these are model collect and they are mainly air launched um, they're mainly air launched by things like the F-16. Now, of course, Zelensky badly wants these, but they are cutting edge American technology. They're very stealthy. And once they fall into Russian's hand, their secrets will be out and that knowledge will be shared with Iran. Um, so there are some barriers to using them. Now, Lloyd Austin has actually said in The Guardian covered this, that um, no single weapon capability um, can give Ukraine a breakthrough on the battlefield. And I have to agree, and it's good that the Guardian have now finally covered it because people for a long time thought that the High Mars and the Attackums were um, this uh, invincible system that, uh, you, you know, you could uh, win the whole war with this. And this goes back to a, a massive problem that lots of people have. They place more emphasis on the weapon system like the King Tiger or the Jagged Panther you know, good vehicles, but when you've got them being overwhelmed by Shermans and uh, artillery and air power and soldiers who, who've got petrol, well, that's what wins wars. Now, what's really interesting is the uh, Ukrainians struck some bridges uh, in the Kursk salient uh, using the attackums and the media celebrated. What they've not been so good at talking about is the reply. And what's happened is, is by exposing the um, high miles launchers for these strikes, the Russians have been firing back with their longer range Iskander M missiles at the high miles. Now, of course, there is a lot of propaganda involved in this whole situation. So, you know, each side will say that they've had success and then the other side will show something to counter it. But the... M142s are being destroyed by the Iskander and the problem with the Attackums is it's quite an old missile system now. So the Russians have for many years planned to defend against it with their uh, surface to air missile system and it is outranged massively by Iskander. Now Iskander in its uh, standard form is a 500 uh, kilometer uh, range missile, it probably does more. Um, and it can fire from a lot further away than the Attackums can. So if we if we say that this is the Attackums here, and we say that this is Iskander here on the top, not to scale, but the, the 
at high Mars and the Attackums are outranged. So what they want to do is they want to have the Jassums, which of course pretty much going to be air launched. Now these are incredibly stealthy weapons and they're still cutting edge United States technology. So like I said, when these uh, start getting through, one, they can cause some damage, uh, which could result in escalation. Uh, and two, uh, their secrets will be out. So it's always a balance between what do you want to give? Now, what the Americans have said is they've actually said that the Russians have moved their aircraft further back. So their TU-22s, their TU-95s and their SU-34s have all been moved out of range of both the Attackums and the Jassums. And that leaves you with targets like Moscow. And it also leaves you with targets like the Russian uh, radar stations, the early warning stations. And um, when you start hitting those with uh, Jassums, say you launched a strike of uh, 20 Jassums, and you start taking out what's called um, your early warning lines, your AEW lines. The danger is, is that the adversary, if they have nuclear powers, may think that you are doing a preemptive strike on their nuclear equipment. So there are some limits to what can be provided. The first limit is to do with range, and that's because stuff is moved out of range. And the second thing is when you start hitting early airborne early warning targets or your distant uh, early warning lines, your uh, DW lines, or you start hitting targets like Moscow, well, the response could be nuclear escalation. So it's a constant balancing act um, between uh, the powers that are supporting Ukraine and what they are giving and how it's being used. Now, JASM is cutting edge technology. It's able to program and go around some air defences, but undoubtedly some will crash some will be shot down. And, and the difficulty is that when you've got a stealthy missile like this, which is more stealthy than Storm Shadow and Scalp, once those secrets get out, like I said, it's not just Russia that benefits from that. Iran benefits from that. Uh, North Korea benefits from that. And if you've not got another weapon in the pipeline, and Jassim is a brand new weapon system. Attackums is old now. Attackums is from 1991. Attackums is on its way out. It's due to be re replaced by the, the PRISM, for want of a better word, the, the PRASM missile. So once you start supplying stuff like the Jassim, you are risking your own state's ability to hit targets. And should the Americans then ever want to hit uh, targets um, in an unfriendly nation and the secrets of the JASM are exposed, well, that actually hinders their use of that air power. And the TACOMS is an old piece of equipment. This is new. So there's a constant balancing act between what you can supply and what you can't supply. I hope that helps and uh, let me know what you think and take care. Goodbye.